Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me today. And uh, we are going over the Factory Planner Mod. And uh, this is one that has been highly requested by you guys. Uh, so I'm going to go over it here. I've taken a good while to look over it to give you a pretty good idea of how it works. Now I'm not going to cover every single tiny little feature in it. Otherwise this would be a super, super long like 30-40 minute spotlight. Which is not really what these videos are about. Um, I'm just kind of going to show you generally what it does, how it works, um, and then there there is very good documentation and stuff within it um, for you to find out any of the other features. So, uh, it adds in a uh, whole separate GUI here, and I've done some setup, uh, and it seems kind of overwhelming. Uh, so, one thing you can do is there is a very nice tutorial here um, that kind of walks you through everything, the interface, the usage... Uh, the matrix solver, which we're not going to look very much into here. This seems like um, a very specific use cases, um, potentially like maybe it would be good for modded stuff. Because one nice thing about this mod, about Factory Planner, opposed to using like a uh, fa factory calculator that's like in a browser, is this will just automatically adapt to the mods you have installed. So if you have mods that add different recipes and stuff, this will just you know, just take them into account. You can select them, etc. Um, instead of having to like do weird, like imports into a, a, a one that's in a browser, just not be able to at all. So this is really nice. Um, and some pro tips as well here. So uh, before we actually get into this, there are a few settings we can look at here. Um, in the player, there's display open close button. Um, so this is where if you want to change the size of that actual GUI, you can change it here. Um, and, and these, I, I'm fine with how it was. Um, the alt action, so basically you can select an action when alt clicking any item or recipe button currently works with FNEI. Um, what is it really used for in recipe book? Um, the mod has to be installed and enabled. Um, default time scale is one minute. Um, you could change this to second or hour. You can do that within the thing too. Um, and then view type, uh, indicate whether you th think of item throughput as individual lanes or as full belts. Belts is usually, at least for me, that makes the most sense. And then you can check this to prefer the matrix solver, um, but we're, we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna work with the default. Uh, so I've added a few things. So how this works basically, it can be a little confusing, but how this works is you add recipes and you set like X amount you wanna make per minute or per second, you can change that here. Um, or you can do it by belts or like uh, by machines and stuff like that. So uh, what I've done is I've added some stuff. I'm going to actually get rid of uh, this one here. This was a test uh, and it does display some nice hotkey stuff here. So I'm not going to walk you through every single one of those because it does display it within it. Uh, but control right click does delete something, which I'll get rid of there and get rid of it from there too. Same hotkey. Um, so you add a recipe here. We've added uh, red science and uh, then we have some breakdown here and I will go into how to add recipes. I just kind of want to show you like what this actually looks like and what this means. Um, so we have red science and this is telling me how many machines this is going to take. There's no beacons because they're level one machines. Uh, if you switch this to level two machines, uh, then we could add beacons and, and modules and stuff here as we like. Pretty standard. Um, with this modules, you can only have two per. And then use a selection tool to count the beacons in your already built factory. So this is really nice. If you wanted to do that, um, I could like select these and it would count them for me. So if you've already built it, this would be super nice. Um, and we're, we're not going to do that for this, but that is how you would add them. How much power it takes, the products. There's no byproducts for this. Um, this would be like if it gives you like, like a, a second type of product. Um, ingredients. And then you can leave comments. Um, and this is uh, comments are not enabled by default. If you go into your preferences, you can change stuff. I'll go into that shortly. Uh, and then what the gears are, this is actually so this is where things get interesting, maybe a little confusing. The gears I actually broke down into um, so, so, so the gears are obviously a I'm trying to think how to explain this. The gears are obviously a product or, or sorry, an ingredient for the red science. So if you click on one, it will break it down farther. So I clicked on this and it now brings me to gears. Um, and it's a little confusing because it seems like it's like a whole different recipe thing here. Um, uh, if we take this, then this will actually put this on a different floor, a different level. And this is how this is like where things get 
kind of interesting. Um, so this, we're now just looking at gears. We're only looking at the gears for this, and this breaks it down into iron. We could bring this onto a floor. We're now on level three, um, which is just the iron plate itself, and we could, you know, go farther. Um, it, it, well, and obviously, beacons aren't compatible with this. Um, but yeah, there's that. Again, you can change the miners. You can change these in your preferences as well. Um, and then we can go up, and we're back to where we started. Okay. Now, you could just continue breaking this down here. Because let's just say we have one just for red science, which is what this is. Then we could break this down even farther if we wanted to. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get rid of this for now. But if we do that, and then I go here, um, we've kind of broke it down most of the way. So we've gone red science, gears, iron plate, copper plate. And this just tells me, you know, how much of, of everything I need here um, for this. And, uh, and yeah, so there's all this. These just enable or disable the actual thing within it, the, the, the recipe. And you can see here it's affecting the ingredients. So this is total how many ingredients I would need. Um, and this is a per per minute rate. So I set it to 100 per minute. Um, you could change this to belts. And basically what this does is sets the number on items button to how many belts of your preferred belt type will be needed. So like we would need 0.1 of a belt of a yellow belt or 0.2 of a yellow belt of iron type of deal. And then this thing um, set the number of item button to how many uh, of them per second a machine will produce. Um, so like a machine will produce, you know, this many per second or per minute. Um, so there we go. I like I usually base my stuff off of minutes or seconds, not really belts or anything like that. But that is an option. Um, now, if you want to have a separate recipe, I would not recommend adding multiple recipes of different types in a uh, a, a main factory floor. Uh, is basically what these are called. Because if, if I were to add in like circuits here or even green science here, it can get kind of confusing. So what you would want to do, and I've done this for circuits, is you go up here to this green button and you create a new sub factory is what these are called. So we're going to say, uh, let's actually, let's do oil. So we're going to say oil for this. And I'm going to go here. You click on that and you can select what thing you want to actually be here, what recipe. Um, and... Uh, you know, we can kind of choose whatever we want. Um, but I'm going to say, let's just say crude oil. Okay. And then once you've done that, it's created this, but there's not actually anything here. So the second step you need to take is go into products. And then this is where you need to come in here and you need to kind of figure out what you, what you want to actually have done in here. Um, so let's say for example, petroleum, let's actually go with petroleum. We want, I don't know, let's say we want 5,000 petroleum a minute, right? Cause fluids are pretty high. Um, and obviously they're not in belts, so this is not an option. And we select that it's in red, um, cause it's not actually active. So if you left click it, it then activates it and you kind of have some options here. So add recipe, choose a recipe to produce petroleum gas. Um, you can do unresearched recipes or hidden recipes. Um, so I want to do advanced oil processing. And I'm doing this particularly, uh, th this one specifically to show you just the, how the byproduct thing works as well. Um, so I am wanting to make 5,000 petroleum a minute. Uh, and, and if we wanted, we could change this um, as well here to a one second or one minute or one hour time scale. Um, but uh, this will require 3.7 refineries, uh, beacons, if, if they are added, um, I could just delete the beacons completely, and this will bring it up to 7.5. This is how much power it will take, this is how much we're going to get, and then byproducts, obviously, because advanced oil does give us heavy oil and light oil. These are our byproducts, and then these are the ingredients. So I want to break, um, the default software does not support recipes that consume byproducts. So basically, um, this is where you would like turn on the matrix solver. Uh, and it can get kind of wonky. Um, it, 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 uh, it can get kind of wonky to mess with. But if you are doing something with the byproducts, there's not very many things at all in vanilla that uh, have byproducts. But if you are, um, this is how you would do it. If you would turn on the matrix solver, um, we can go here, and let's say we want to crack that. 
<laughs> so things get a little confusing now, as you can see. Um, we could just delete these. We don't want beacons on these. Um, and then, yeah, so this is how much petroleum it's going to do. And then um, recipes that consume byproducts can't have subfloors as well. We could add some notes and stuff. And this is kind of what this would look like. Uh, now, very quickly to touch more on the matrix solver um, is we if we go to tutorial, um, this is a very long explanation, but basically um, it's an alternative alternative method for updating the production table. Um, so by default, Factory Planner solves the table from top to bottom, while the matrix solver solves every line simultaneously with a system of equations. Um, it can be tricky to use, but it's also very powerful. Um, for example, it handles recycling, voiding, and loops. Um, and then, as you can see here, enabling enables byproduct selection. Um, and then, yeah, sometimes the matrix solver requires certain items to be set to free. Normally, items are balanced out, meaning they are consumed as fast as they are produced. However, free items do not balance out and will appear as final ingredients of byproducts. Um, so yeah, this isn't really needed for much. Um, if you do want to mess with the byproducts, like oil products primarily, this is when you would turn this on. To turn it off, we simply just do that, and it will clear every byproduct stuff since we do need that on. Um, so that's most of it. Okay, hopefully that's not too confusing, guys. Um, I, I tried to explain it the best I could, but yes. So basically, whenever you add a recipe, I would recommend you could add them all just in here, but or, or several. But I think that gets confusing. So let's just say uh, yellow science. Let's just say we want to add yellow science really quick. I'll give you one more example. We click the green button. We label it what we want. And then we select the thing. And this is mostly just for an icon. We could add whatever we want within this. Um, but obviously keeping it consistent makes more sense. So this is mostly just the name and icon. I could add, I don't know, red circuits to be made in here. It doesn't matter, but it would be confusing. Um, and if we go here, this is how you actually add the, the recipe and the amounts you want. Um, and let's just say, for the heck of it, let's do belts. So if you want to do the amount by belts, you come over here, and let's just say we want yellow belts. And let's say we want one yellow belt of uh, yellow science, and this is going to be 900 per minute, which is a lot, but that's how much it will be. And then again, it's kind of off by default, so we'll need to click it. Um, now, if you add multiple things here, um, just to show you really quickly, we'll just add that for the heck of it. Just do that. Um, if you do this, um, it, you know, the other one stays disabled. And then um, we do have it set to these by default. Uh, again, if we wanted to add beacons, we could do that here. And uh, we'll just get rid of this for now. Uh, so, yeah, this is 100%. Basically, this percentage determines how much of the demand for the product this recipe produces should actually be fulfilled by this recipe. Um, so, you could kind of have... What this means is, like, you could have this in the planner. You could have this be made in, like, multiple different subfloors, I suppose, and have this one only make 70% of it and then have 30% of it made in, in one other place. If you're splitting your factory up differently and you want to plan accordingly, then that's how you would do that. Um... It would take 21.7 megawatts, 140 blue machines. This is the amount of ingredients um, it would require. Again, this is a per minute rate. Um, and then we could break these down farther again if we wanted. So like blue circuits, and then we could click on uh, red circuits, and then we could pl click, click, on, uh, click on green circuits, etc. And if we wanted to bring these all into subfloors, that would probably be the better way to do this. Um, you know, you could continue doing this <laughs> uh, like that and then like that etc if you want to do that so now we're down to level four um, and we can come all the way back up etc um, and uh, and there we go so there's that now if we last thing if we go into preferences this is where you would set like preferred machine so I would probably want electric miners I would probably want level two machines for um, crafting Basic, I basically want them for everything. Crafting with fluid, yes. Uh, beacon, I want level 3 speed modules in my beacons. Two of them. Obviously, you can't put more than that in beacons. And if you want prefer module in a machine, then uh, you would do this. And then this would be like your second option. So like for me, 
I would set this to productivity threes, and then anything that can't use productivities, we want to use speed modules, right? Um, I've toggled on uh, the, the the ability to turn on and off the recipes in here. That's what that option is, and then the recipe comments as well. I've toggled on these are off by default. You could have it show pollution too if you wanted to. We'll do that just to take a look. Um, options round bottom numbers or button numbers rather rounds up the numbers on machine and or belt buttons ingredient satisfaction shows whether the ingredient demand of a recipe are satisfied the recipe below um, these are these are all off by default ignore recycling recipes ignore barreling and stacking recipes etc um, for general settings, this is kind of where it went, what I showed you earlier, and you can do preferred belts as well if you want. If we do that, um, this is your pollution if you want. So pollution a minute, and this is some K pollution a minute. Um, so yeah, there we go, 62 pollution per minute. And that's pretty much it, guys. You can um, kind of import and export strings for this as well, which is really nice, kind of like you would for blueprints. So you could you can move these about. Um, last thing I want to show you, um, you can duplicate something, so I could just create another one of these if I want, or, um, well, and or, you can move a selected subfactory to archive, which you can open using the archive button on the very left. So let's say, for example, we, ha we, we have this one we've duplicated, and we're like, well, we'll just do that later. Like, maybe that, maybe we just want to add green circuits later, that's just a, just an in case. But we don't want this here. If we do this, it, it kind of gets rid of it. Um, but you can access it by coming here, and then you can access it there. And then if we click that again, it'll bring us back to our main section. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, that, I believe, is it. Uh, mining productivity is 40% uh, because I unlocked all technologies. You could override this if you want. Um, also, you can have this toggle the game, uh, pause the game in the background while this is open. Um, I would probably suggest that maybe in most cases. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you can kind of do that, which is really nice. Overall, that's it. I know this was a super long spotlight, but I wanted to try to tell you the best I could how this works in general, um, and stuff, because I'm sure that's why a lot of you are watching. And, uh, I believe that will do it. I think it's an absolutely excellent, fantastic mod. This is really good. I prefer this personally, I think, to Hell Mod. Um, this is really a good alternative to the, like, online, like, browser-based ones, because, again, it's in your game. If you have mods enabled, it will take that stuff into account, so you can like select the recipes there. It's just super nice. The interface is really well done. Everything is is just excellently done um, for this. Highly recommend it. And as always, there is a link in the uh, video description to the mod portal page. We can check this out if you'd like. And uh, if you did enjoy, a like is much appreciated on the video. If you're new to the channel and aren't subscribed, please consider doing so to keep up with all the uh, new videos I'm putting out and if you have any questions and thoughts leave them down below in the comments guys as always Thank you so much uh, And until next time I look forward to seeing you all and do take care